Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing another episode of Dolls I Don't Want. It hasn't been that long since I did my last one, but there have been so many more dolls announced or that have already come out. So I felt the need to do another one. If you guys haven't seen this series that I do on my channel before, it's a series where I talk about all the dolls that have either come out recently or are like about to come out that I don't plan on buying. I do tend to do reviews for dolls that I want to buy because like, if I buy them, I want to talk about them for you guys, but I have so many opinions on the dolls that I don't want to buy that I do like separate videos for those. So that is what we are going to be doing today. As always, the opinions that I express are like just my opinion. So if you disagree, it's totally cool. Like if I talk about these dolls that I don't want to get and you love them, that's okay. And then as we go through, if you guys do find yourself enjoying the video, if you could give it a like, that's very helpful to me. And if you're new here and you like what you see, definitely subscribe so you can see more. But we have so many dolls to talk about today. So let's go ahead and just get into it. We got to get started. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to start out with the Rainbow High releases that we have to talk about, and the first one is the Sunny and Luna 2-pack. Uh, I do think that Sunny has an absolutely amazing design. I've talked about this a few times on this channel that I think that Sunny's inspiration and like her style requires a lot of accessories and a lot of detail and sometimes Rainbow High just doesn't hit the mark probably because of budget reasons but in this one they definitely did hit the mark for her. I think she is so beautiful, so well designed. Personally I'm not gonna get it because it is a two-pack and like I don't really care for Luna. I also violently dislike the heeled Crocs they gave Sunny. Like I like Crocs. I could have handled if they were just platform Crocs but they have the little skinny high heel on the end and I just think that it looks really bad. Um, I, I would buy her if she were by herself just to give her different shoes, but because she does come in a two pack with Luna and I just really don't care for this Luna doll, it seems like it would be a very large waste of money. I believe they are $60 in the US. I could be wrong on that. I know the price has been fluctuating on Amazon where they're up for pre-order, but yeah, I just can't spend that much money when I don't like one of the two dolls. So yeah, Luna. Um, I don't think that she's a bad doll. I think that she's got good pieces. Her boots are really, really cool. I like those a lot. Um, her kind of metallic bustier is fine. I think nothing about it feels super inspired or super unique and exciting. And I definitely don't think that it helps that she is standing next to Sunny. Like if this Luna were a separate release, I still don't think that I would be super enthused by her. I don't think I'd be over the moon about this doll. But I do think that having her sister be so well done and so well executed and so detailed and colorful and exciting it just really exacerbates how kind of plain Luna looks. Again, this is just my opinion, so if you love her, that's fine, but I just really think that especially when you compare the two, Luna looks really generic and really bad, and I feel terrible for saying that, but that's why I'm not gonna get these. Okay, then we have to talk about the runway dolls, and I did do a whole like deep dive video about my intense feelings for this line, so I'm not gonna go over everything in like a ton of depth right now. You can go and watch that video if you want to see more intense explanations of why I'm not buying these dolls. Um, but the only one that I plan on buying is Poppy. So Ruby, I like her second outfit a lot. Uh, I just really don't like her runway design and I can't justify spending the money on her. I think $35 in the US for a doll that I only like half of. Then we have Sunny, and I think that her umbrella dress is amazing, but I think the base doll is really lackluster, and her second outfit is really ugly to me. Uh, then we have Jade. I like the idea of the lightning, but I just think there's no way to make it not look super clunky on a doll, so... Again, like, there's parts that I like, but I just can't justify it for the price. Skylar, I do think, is extremely well executed, and I really love her second outfit, but I just don't think that I love her enough to want to pay full price for her. I could see myself maybe changing my mind if she were on sale, but for right now we're gonna skip. Violet, <laughs> poor Violet. I feel like she always gets the short end of the stick. I just think she looks really plain. She's kind of like Luna from the Sunny and Luna 2-pack. She's fine. I don't think that her design is terrible. I just think that it's nowhere near enough. And then lastly is Amaya, and I think she's probably the one that I'm most likely to change my mind about. I probably will get her at some point when this doll inevitably goes on sale. I like her dress, I just don't like that you can see like the under dress underneath the rainbow. But yeah, I think I'll probably get her eventually. She's just on here for now because I'm not paying full price. <laughs> that brings us to the junior high dolls that have released recently. and. 
I kind of just sworn off of the junior high dolls. I did buy some from the like first lineup, series one of junior high, and I actually sold all of them. I kept some of the pieces, but I sold all of the dolls because I just didn't like them. I feel like they had a lot more quality control issues and the scale, it was fine. Like it's not bad, but knowing that I probably didn't want to buy any more because of my experience with the quality control, it was like, I'd rather just not have these. So to be fair, these dolls could have better quality control. They might have better rooting and like better details. So I'm not saying that for sure junior high just always has bad quality. I just had a bad enough experience that I don't feel like getting these. Um, still want to talk about them though. <laughs> so Avery, I actually think this outfit is really, really cute, which is a shame that it's released on a junior high doll. Cause if this were released on a full size doll, I probably would buy this. Um, I'm assuming her hair is rooted this time and not a wig. So that might be a little bit nicer because the wig kind of sat weird to me. But yeah, I really like the outfit, just not on a junior high doll. Uh, then we have Holly and Laurel. I have no idea which is which still because I frankly just don't care <laughs> to find out. I know that's me and sorry, but I, I just really don't. So the warm toned one, I don't get this dress. Uh, it's going to be the same for the cool toned one. I am so confused by this. Like, maybe it could be cool. It could be worse. But I think with the idea that these are like the middle school versions of the Rainbow High students, I can't imagine a middle schooler, even a middle schooler who's going into like a fashion sort of setting in high school, wearing a dress like this. It's like a cocktail dress. <laughs> it's like if it didn't have the t-shirt underneath, this is like a cocktail dress. It just feels really weird to me. I don't know. Uh, cool toned one, exact same vibe, except instead of the white shirt underneath, it's black and like black stockings. I just think it's weird. I don't know. Again, I think that maybe in a different setting, I would feel more positively about these dresses, but I just don't get it. <laughs> Especially like the scrunchie. Like you're wearing a scrunchie and a cocktail dress. <laughs> I'm confused. And then the last one that I think is actually new, they did like a re-release of Crystal. I think Kaya is new. I could be wrong, but we're talking about her now. I love the original Kaya doll. I think she's so pretty. She's so fun to me. She's still one of my favorite um, Rainbow High dolls. This one's fine, I guess. Her backpack is cute and I like her shoes. But honestly, everything else just feels really mid and I just don't really care. <laughs> Okay, and then lastly is the like fashion design set with Skylar. I'm not sure what the proper name of this set is, or even if we know the proper name yet, but we have a stock photo, so we're talking about it. I, you know, I don't feel any animosity towards Skylar. I don't dearly love her, so the doll's kind of whatever. I think her design is fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't really excite me. I do think that the set is so cute, mainly because of the bolts of fabric. Like, something about that is just really hit and right for me. I think that's so adorable that there's little like bolts of doll sized fabric. That being said, if you've been here for a while, you know that I'm not really a playset person, partially because I just simply do not have the space to collect play sets. And also just because nine times out of 10, I don't like them enough to want to get them. So I think the fabric is cool. I think that the overall design for this play set is pretty cool. So it's good. Like, I don't think that this is a bad release. It's just not really catering towards me. Okay, then we get to move on to LOL, and we only have two dolls to talk about this time. The first one is, I want to say this is Pose from Series 8. I knew before sitting down, and then I immediately forgot. Uh, Pose, we're going to go with that, from Series 8 of the OMGs. I love all the other three. I thought I was only going to want Jams and Victory, and the more I look at Wildflower, the more I love her too. So Pose is the only one that I don't plan on getting. I don't think that she has a bad design whatsoever. In fact, I think she looks really beautiful. The color of her hair is so nice. Like, the natural hair color just looks really, really pretty. I think her design looks great. It's just not really my style. So this is purely personal. I absolutely think that this is a good design. I just don't really vibe with it. So I'm not going to get her. And then there is also an LOL OMG vet playset that I think recently came out. I think you can order this one now. And I thought I was going to be really into this. Um, I have a deep, deep love for animals and especially cats. I love cats more than I probably should. And, <laughs> and so vet play sets are weirdly one of the ones that get me the most or like I'm most tempted by because I like the idea of them coming with little animals and coming with little cats sometimes. And I do feel personally victimized that the LOL vet playset doesn't come with a cat. I understand that that is so silly. Like, I get it. 
but it is what's stopping me from wanting to buy this. Like, the doll is fine. And I, I honestly probably would have bought this if it came with a cat. But it comes with a dog and a hamster. The hamster's cute. The dog is fine. Um, but there's no cat, so I'm not purchasing. Okay, then we have a couple of, like, one-offs. So this first one is actually a new brand of dolls. Some people have been getting these dolls in PR, so we have seen kind of unboxings and stuff for them. And they are the Magic Mixies Pixlings. So Magic Mixies did, like, stuffed animals, I think, that you did like a fun little interactive potion making thing to reveal the stuffed animal and now they're doing the same with like these itty bitty fashion dolls they do look really really cute i definitely want to get at least one to kind of give it a try right now i'm leaning towards wanting the deer themed one because i just think she looks really cute i also like the mermaid uh the unicorn is pretty good too i just the unicorns aren't as much my thing so i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure which one i'm gonna want i definitely want to get one to give it a whirl but I probably won't get all three just because I think they are $18 in the US. And the reason for the price, even though they are small and they have some molded on details, is because you get an interactive like play thing with them. Again, you get to do like a little potion mixing to reveal the doll. So they're more expensive because of that. And I do understand that. And I'm sure for kids that is very, very exciting. And honestly, I'll probably enjoy it too. But I just can't see myself paying almost $60 for these three dolls. Like, they're cool, I just don't think they're quite that cool, so we're probably only gonna get one, and then depending on how I feel about that, maybe two, but I definitely don't think all three. Okay, then we have another line of Bratz reproductions coming out. It's um, kind of like Series 2 was. Series 3 is just kind of random dolls from random lines. I don't know how they pick them, but I am very, very excited about one in particular, the Tiana doll that they're reproducing. I had, like, parts of her when I was a kid I got like some of her pieces at a garage sale when I was younger and so I really am excited to have the chance to get the full doll with like her fun fringe shirt and then her fur like jacket. I don't even know if it's an actual jacket or if it's kind of more of a stole but I'm very very excited to get her. The other ones I just can't quite decide on. I don't know. Because I've seen some pictures of people who have like found these dolls and I've seen some of the in real life photos and I think that the Campfire Felicia doll looks amazing. I can't remember her name. She's on the far left of this picture, the Funk and Glow release. I think that she also looks really, really good in the real life photos. So I might also grab those two. I don't think I'm gonna get the boy or the last doll just like they're fine they just don't really cater to me as specifically so for sure gonna get tiana might get two others and then two i'm definitely not getting okay then we have the mattel collector alice in wonderland doll i did a whole video on this as well talking about kind of why i'm not as big a fan of her the short version is that i you know have no particular feelings about alice in wonderland like it's fine, I guess, but I'm not connected enough to really want a doll, and then also she was, to me, a little bit overpriced. So that's like the short version of that video if you don't want to go watch it or if you haven't seen it. But yeah, not going to be grabbing her. I don't even know if she's still available. I know she was up for um, sale on Mattel Creations, but I didn't try to get her, so skipping that one. Then we come to Monster High, and we only have two releases that I want to talk about. I never spoke about the fancy Laguna. Hello, sorry to interrupt, but like I just had to point this out really quick. Fancy is spelled in the name as you see on screen here. And I thought fantasy, it's kind of weird that they don't have like the T sound in there. Like fancy doesn't really quite make sense with a fantasy pun. It was until I said it out loud for this video that I realized it's fancy, like a fancy dress. So I just had to share that little embarrassing tidbit with you all. Um, I think we hadn't gotten stock photos for her at the last point when I filmed a Dolls I Don't Want video. And I'm so torn, okay, because I think she's like $40 in the US, which considering the price of like alumni collector dolls, that's pretty good. She does come with a stand. She's obviously very detailed. I just, I don't know. And I think it's because there's been so many other Monster High releases lately. Like, I have done so many Monster High unboxings lately, and I still have more to do. And so I think that if she had come out at a different time, I would immediately be grabbing her. I know a lot of people really don't like the way she looks. I think that she's pretty cute. That bag is adorable. I understand the mermaid silhouette is very overdone, but I think it looks okay in this case. So I like her. 
I just think I'm feeling extremely overwhelmed by all the Monster High releases and I'm kind of ready to take a break. So I think she might be just a victim of like the timing, which is sad. Maybe I'll get her at some point. Like I definitely could change my mind, but I'm just feeling a little burnt out on Monster High, which isn't something I would normally say. Like it's weird to hear that coming out of my mouth. I love Monster High. There's just been a lot of releases lately. Okay, <laughs> this other Monster High doll, this is gonna be shocking. I need you to just like bear with me and hear me out. So we got stock photos for the amped up Frankie doll and they look phenomenal. Like I'm not in any way trying to say that they have a bad design or they don't look good because they look super. I love the streaks of pink in their hair. I just think it's a really, really good color for them. I think the overall design is really cool. It's very eye catching. It looks detailed and fun. But someone on Instagram pointed out that in some ways this doll does look very close to their um, Coffee Break release. And I have the Coffee Break Frankie and I love them dearly. They're my favorite Frankie doll. They were my first Frankie doll I ever purchased, which is like a big deal, right? And so while I like this one, I do think that there is a similar enough vibe that is making me pause. Because if I had unlimited space and money, yeah, I would probably buy this doll, but I don't have either of those things, and I just don't know if they look different enough in terms of, like, I know that they look different, but in terms of the vibe, I just don't know if they look different enough for me to want to get them. I absolutely might change my mind on this, and this doll is also probably being affected by the fact that I am so like overwhelmed by Monster High releases right now. So I definitely could see myself changing my mind in the future, but for now, I think I'm holding off on Amped Up Frankie. And I know that's probably very unpopular, but yeah, I, just, I have a lot of other Monster High stuff going on right now, and I don't know. All right, I have no idea how long this video is already, probably quite long, and we are just now hitting like the biggest chunk of the video. No bestie, that was the rainbow high portion, but go on. Because I have to talk about all of the Barbie movie dolls. Um, we've only seen like, I don't know if it's exactly half, but we've seen like the first rollout of them. I think there are more dolls that are going to be coming out, but we're just doing like the ones that we have stock photos for right now because there's already enough, okay? Like there's so many to talk about. So I am getting them out of the way before we get even more so that I don't become just completely overwhelmed. So, oh gosh, how do I want to talk about this? I guess we'll talk about the two cheaper ones and then we'll bring price into it because that is a massive factor as for why I'm not planning on getting any of the Barbie movie dolls so far. I don't know any of their names, by the way. Like, they have names for, like, the different outfits and I don't know them. So I'm sorry, but I just don't. <laughs> and I could look it up, but I would immediately forget. So we're just going to roll with it. So this is the, like, more budget-friendly Barbie in the, like, pink gingham dress. I do think that she's cute. But, you know, I just don't feel particularly drawn to her. I've said this a few times now. I realized recently that I think that I prefer Barbies that are more fantasy inspired or like cultural, just kind of thematic Barbies tend to appeal to me more. So she's cute. There's absolutely nothing wrong with her. It's just not really my cup of tea. And then the Ken that is like on the same level as her, they're both $25 in the US. He's actually quite cute. I like the open button up and the matching shorts. I think that's pretty precious. And then he does come with a surfboard. So like, he's nice. Again, there's nothing wrong with him. I just don't think I like him enough to buy. Um, so yeah, those are the two budget friendly Barbies. Every other Barbie that has been released so far from the Barbie movie is $50. And to my understanding, the difference is that they come with a stand and they have a slightly bigger box. And I guess it's good to know that they have a stand, but a stand and a bit of extra packaging being an extra $25, I think is absolutely ridiculous. Some of them are a bit more detailed. Some of them are not. I don't know. To me, you can't justify the price. If you guys are fine with paying that, that's dandy. Like, that's your own business. You know, if you're making your money and you're spending it on these Barbies, that's fine. I'm not going to judge you. But for me, I think that that is an astronomically high price for regular Barbie. It's <laughs> like, they don't look that exciting to me. And I am just shocked. I get that they're from a movie. Like, I understand that there's special licensing and stuff that's probably involved. 
I, I don't care. You know, like, again, if you want to spend your money on these Barbies, that's fine. And I'm not going to, like, stop you. Obviously, I can't. Or I'm not going to judge you. But you can't convince me that they're worth $50. So the first one is wearing, like, a pink and blue dress with, like, a matching jacket and hat. Definitely not my vibe. Even if she were cheap, I really wouldn't be interested in her. Then we have what I think is one of the more popular ones, and this is kind of a Western-themed Barbie in, like, all pink, but she's got the vest and, like, bell-bottoms and a little cowboy hat. I don't know. I think she's cute. Like, she's fine, but, again, it's just, it's not enough for me to want to spend $50. And even if she were cheaper, I don't know if this is necessarily what I would go for anyway. But my brain, like, won't even let me think about it, you know, because the price is so high. <laughs> uh, this one, the Ken doll with the denim set, is actually my favorite that we've gotten thus far. And it makes me very sad that he's expensive, because if he were $25, I would have bought him. I think the denim set is really cute. It looks quality. The little, like, band of the underwear peeking out is a really nice detail. Like, the fact that he presumably has two layers is nice there. Yeah, I, I think this doll's cute. I just don't want to pay $50. <laughs> Then we have Barbie in the sequin jumpsuit, and I just think that this translates really badly. I've seen the little clips from the trailer of uh, Margot Robbie wearing this outfit, you know, in human size as Barbie, and I think that it looks nice on her, but I just think that the sequins look like a weird size for Barbie, and also the way that they're, like, done in these little squiggly lines, it just looks very strange to me. It almost looks very childish, and... I'm not a fan at all. Uh, then we have President Barbie, and I do think that she's quite cute. Uh, I could do without the President Sash. To me, I prefer the idea of this just being a pretty Barbie in a nice ball gown. Because, like, I like me some poofy princess-style dresses. So she might be one that I would be interested in, because, like, obviously you can just take off the sash. But again, she's $50, and I don't have the, like, will to spend that much money on a Barbie like this. I just, I just don't. I don't know. Then we have a, another Barbie in a, like, pink pants suit. Pants are fine. The jacket looks fine. It's just not really my style. And again, way too expensive. And then lastly, there is a Ken doll in, like, a jumpsuit. That's not the right word. Track suit. There we go. <laughs> I was thinking so hard. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Again, not really my vibe. Most Barbies in, like, everyday type clothes are not something that is like super appealing to me and at that $50 price point I think he was also Mattel Creations exclusive I'm just not going for it okay so that is finally all the dolls we have to talk about today so many releases like the last couple of dolls I don't want videos I feel like have been so lengthy because there's just so many dolls coming out lately not that I'm complaining because it gives me a chance to rant on the internet and I love to do that <laughs> but definitely a lot to go through I would love to hear your thoughts on these dolls in the comments down below if you disagree with me on any of these or like if you are feeling kind of the same way that I'm feeling I would just love to talk with you guys about it but yeah I do hope you enjoyed your time today. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys!